Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. What you're seeing here is Der Wiesel, otherwise known in America as the Weasel. This is, well, technically they don't call it a light tank. It's a tank destroyer. This is a tow missile sniper is what I really think it is. And this dude is supposed to be super tiny. So what I want to do is show you this whole thing. I'm going to pick up this tank. We're going to get everything set up, take it out for a test drive or two, and see what's going on. Sounds fun? I hope it does. If you enjoy it, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. You're going to see some stuff that you have not imagined that you would see. Things that are going to help you make decisions, help you play better in your games, make things more fun. And really, isn't that why we're here? So let's get to it, shall we? All right, we are here in the store. It's time to rock. One weasel, please. So let's rock. Alrighty then. One garage slot. Fantastic. Now... There's some other things I need to pick up. I'm going to get this all at one time. I need to pick up this Klimov Commander. One Klimov, please. This dude is half price. You really can't beat it. Besides, I have a Polish poodle that I need to stick this guy in. I needed that big bushy mustache freak I also need to get Mary the mechanic I don't like to go around buying expensive commanders but there are a handful of exceptions she's one of them she's gonna look fantastic in one of my tanks um, I don't know that's a good question I gotta figure out which one it'll be American for sure I think that was all that I really needed. As you can see from the sorting in the filter, I only have one Polish tank. So let's go here. Whoops, let's back off. There we go. Let's put our commander in here. Klimov. Works for me. Fantastic. Now we'll get to this stuff at a future time, I suppose. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do it now. So what I want to do on him is this won't be what he's using. I will swap this out with my commander in my artillery so that I can build these up there. 10% bonus experience and the next best thing after that is reload so we'll do that I'm gonna use this in my sexton howitzer so what I will do is come back and when I have five commander skills in my sexton I'll trade those off swap those with him giving him five because he's gonna be in a frontline fighting vehicle this panther the Polish Panther. So he'll get this and then I'll take my commander in my artillery and use those two perks. That's all that I need really. That acts is more than I need. So we nailed that one down. I don't know about Mary. I'm not even gonna worry about her, but this one, this guy looks fantastic. He looks like Ron Swanson as a tank commander. If you don't know who that is, well, ask someone who does. Because that guy is awesome. So we got this covered. Now we're going to Cold War. Cold War. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. 
All right, Wiesel. The beauty of this. Aha, there we go. One Weasel. 80. That dude is an 80 stock speed, which is fantastic. All right. Means we should get 96 out of this guy when we jack it up. 26. That's awesome accuracy. And I mean awesome from the stock. We won't be needing this. Ram chump. What we will need, what is our reload is hideous, 25 seconds. Let's concentrate on reload. Advanced loader, you better believe it, baby. Now, we're also going to need triple zoom. That's how I roll. Fantastic. Now, we can also use, this is the toughie. Oh, what is this reload? This reload is 22.5. This is killing me. Well, that's another 1% off of that. Let's see what 10% off of this. 22.5 is 10% would be 2.25, so it's 0.225. Basically, a quarter of a second is what it would shave off by using a fan. Toughy. I wanted to camo this guy as well. What is this dude? This is really annoying. 267. Hmm. Here's what we need to do. We're going to reduce this reload and increase the accuracy also with that. So accuracy is now what? 0.25. Very good. Reload time is now 2157. Not bad. Now we can reduce this by putting a commander in here. And I have a commander ready and waiting. I said, here we go. There she is. Now yeah, we'll go ahead and use her. It doesn't matter. So now this is going to reduce our reload because she's got reload perks. 18.23 that's very good comparing where we started from 24 not bad missiles um i was hoping to do camouflage the camo net this reload and this zoom are just absolutely non-negotiable they have to be there i can get a camo net and then I can get tractions, you know, for increased speed. It would knock that up another 8. So it would go from 80 to 88, which would be it's pretty fast. Hmm, it's a real toughie. Camo. Ah, uh, actually, that's not necessary. I have other commanders watch this. Let me show you. Not this one here. Let's go. Whoops. Wrong one. Check this out. We're going to go sort this for blue commanders. I have some high. Whoops. He is not bad. I have some high commanders. High, high perk commanders that have camo somewhere. Like this one. Right? No, that's not. That's, that's driving. That's driving armadillo. There we go. This one has, this girl has the camouflage expertise. This is what I wanted. So she's the one we're gonna use. We're gonna swap out and put her in there instead. Where's the weasel? There it is. Whoops. So she's going in the weasel. I put the wrong one in. That's fine. No problem. Because she's an eight slot commander. That other girl. Where is she hiding? Oh, 
she's back. Not a, she's no longer listed as blue. She's listed as unassigned. So what happened was I just returned her back to a universal commander. You'll see. You. There we go. So you see that she's unassigned. So she's on any nation now. I could stick her anywhere, but she's really a blue commander. She's a modern German commander, so I'll fix that later. Right now, we're just worried about getting this thing maxed out. Now, did this? Yes, it did. Notice how that 10% camouflage, that uh, factor, dropped that down to 240 on the steel concealment without having to use a camo net. So a camo net could be quite useful. We're going to use this tracks traction 88 speed as exactly as anticipated weasel 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 so here what we're gonna do we probably don't need a repair but hey, let's go with it anyway Actually, I'm going to. Mm. Gotta have a repair kit. I'm just sure of it. All right, we're gonna go with this. And there's gas would be helpful, but as I always say, go with the stock of gold repair, enhanced rations, and medical, and then. If you don't take any crew damage normally, you can dump the medical. In this case, I'd add a gasoline because the gasoline will give us another four in speed. We'll pump that dude over 90. Because I want to hold off on, well, let's just go ahead and put the camo. This is my gut reaction that this dude is a camo sniper. My steel concealment is now 100. That's ridiculous. That is just phenomenal. So now you're seeing bonus right now. Okay, this guy is now ready to rock. Actually, let's go and add real camo as well. Let's go the whole nine yards, shall we? No skin? How stupid is that? You have no skins for this guy? Hmm, that's not bad. Hey, before we do this, let's look at the emblems. Where, what emblems can we have here? Eh, whatever. Hard to see. I don't like that. Eh, let's go for the nine years. Why not? It's free. Sure, why not? Inscription. Let's see what we got. Watch it. Visa, we got a lot of German ones, which are cool. Stubborn Emil. Ah, I don't worry about that stuff. So. Let's go back to camo, shall we? And this camouflage on this guy is going to be freak. What do we have for good looking desert? Basic dark yellow, African desert camouflage. Eh, chocolate chip. Nah, I don't want that. Desert transparent, negative. Desert post war, not bad. Nah, it's too yellow. Desert post war three. Not much difference, is there? Let's look at this one. Desert post war five. Again, can't tell you much difference, to be honest. 
How much is it? Let's just go temporary. Seven days is fine. Make a decision later. Summer post war. I don't care for that other one. Leaves. Okay. Historical Korea. That actually looks really awesome. Gonna go for it with uh, urban. Well, what the heck? It might as well. Very good. That looks very rubbleish. I'm going with it right now. All right. Now we need to have one good. That's fine. The nine years are quite visible. Good enough for me. All right. This dude is now down. It was 100. What are we at now? 82? All right. Okay. So we're in good shape here. Okay. I played some games in this tank. And I want to give you the results of what I found out. Now, everything I anticipated about this was essentially correct. So, what I'm doing here is preventing you from making a mistake. Unless you're an absolute ace with rockets, I think you're wasting your time if you buy this tank. That's the ultimate uh, analysis. It's no match for any light tank at all. The worst light tank you could throw against it would destroy it like nothing. Because it cannot fight on the move at all. The rocket cannot lock on, be fired, and then hit the target while you're veering off. If you veer, it veers. That is a real problem as I anticipated. The rocket is slow, same speed as other rockets essentially. It's unreliable, it's hit and miss. So if you like to gamble, this is an awesome tank. If you wanna gamble, well is that shot I'm gonna shoot and hit him, is it gonna do any damage? Okay, great. So if you wanna goof off tank, it's fine. If you want to play to win and seriously impact the battlefield in favor of your team, why don't you go buy something that's actually good? I, that's what I would say. I was not impressed. I have not been impressed in general with rockets. Rockets do some good damage like anything else. You know, if you're a really good rocket player, this might be really good for you. This is an ambush predator. Um... If you can find concealed areas to hide in with the camouflage, it's pretty good. I mean, you can shoot from long range, but it's not a difference maker by itself. When it's by itself, it has almost no chance of killing anything. It's not reliable. Now, you will see, of course, some great results people got, but there's always going to be something else going on a guy's got his attention focused elsewhere he didn't see it he was surprised you can't stick this in front of someone and go i'm going to kick your butt in this tank it's not going to happen the worst light tank you can possibly imagine would just destroy this tank with ease so the thing is it's a waste of your gold if you're considering buying this tank and you're not literally an absolute ace with rockets, pretty good, doesn't cut it. I mean, I got some clips to show you where it's just like other ones. I mean, and it's, a, it's a fun goof around tank, but the fact that you don't have a gun is just no, it's just no good. And I mean, like I said, as an ambush, it's okay. You ambush and then get the heck out of there. I rolled up on one heavy tank. 
was directly behind him, shot him, it did nothing. And I couldn't believe that it did zero damage at point-blank range with that rocket square in his rear. That was a big negative to me. So let me show you what else I have here. Okay, this is the, the first really good shot I was able to get. And that was cool. This was another one from a different game. I couldn't take the shot there. Did not have a clear line of sight, really. I could have gambled, but I don't like to gamble. I'm not a gambling type of guy. Which is probably why I don't care for this tank. You can do that. You can charge a guy, fire, and stay on target. But if he's aimed at you, you got a problem. That was cool when we hit him, and that did great. Yeah, this was me chasing this guy. I don't know what the heck was up with that. Smoke. I'm not afraid of this guy. He doesn't have a gun. Drill that guy just like the other one. You know, like I said, you can fire straight on the run and shoot a guy. I find that to be a death wish. That's me personal. So that's the kind of thing. If you like that, if that's how you want to play, it's awesome. But if you're not an ace of rockets and you don't like gambling on this stuff, I say avoid this like the plague. You're not going to get what you think out of it. Now, it does have a 65% silver bonus, which is nice. It turns pretty good. Tighter than most light tanks that I play. But I don't recommend this to anyone. I think you, can, you could buy way better stuff for way less money. The Thumper is infinitely better than this. I like every other Era 3 tank that I have better than this tank. Let me show you. This column with the Thumper on top, the TCM AGS, the MBT-70, and the M60AX, these are all directly above the Weasel Toe. They're all better. Every one of them is better. No question about it. But it just all depends what you like. What I like is something that's reliable and skillful and rewards that ability. I found this rewarded none of that. It's very random. And I don't want to play dice roll tanks. That's just what I don't want to do. And that's what it does. It dice rolls everything. It's just unreliable. You could have a literal great game by luck and then have a terrible game by luck. If that's what turns you on, man, this tank is awesome. It drives great. No question about that. But the first time you run into, if you buy it, the first time you run into a light tank, he will carve you like a Thanksgiving Day turkey. And it won't be close. You will be just annihilated. Literally rock, paper, scissors. A light tank is rock and your scissors. But on the other hand, if you're a terrific rocket sniper, which I have seen so few people who are really terrific in that regard, that the odds are you're not that guy. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Take your gold, buy something else. I would love for you to say, well, you know, I looked at your thing 
and I really am good at rockets since I bought it and I, and I was awesome with it and I would say that's fantastic. That makes you the exception to the rule. The, the average and normal good players are going to go, eh, too expensive, not good enough. Uh, like I said, any of my any of the four tanks in this column you're looking at are way better. And it's not close. You know, that Type 59D is another tank that would, that would more or less eat that tank up. It just can't do anything. It can only sneak attack you. And it's, it sounds great, but the problem is they know you're there and it's hard to sneak attack. And you're, you know, there's good guys that are having some good scores, but when I saw at the end of games, when it was, you know, coming down to winning time, I didn't see a single weasel win. If they're near the end of the game among the last few guys, that tank doesn't win. And that's the problem. It's what I call being a difference maker. Uh, I mean, any of these tanks are difference makers to a degree. The MBT-70, the M60AX is a monster difference maker. The Thunder, the Thumper is one too. The TCM AGS is better. It's a light tank. It will beat, the, the AGS will beat the tow one-on-one -on -one all day long the speed is almost identical and it has an actual gun with a better reload so you, he's got a problem that toe is a little more maneuverable but he'll never be able to get the shot because the tcm will never stop moving so it had every problem that i anticipated a rockets only tank to have hey if you want to try it out Try one of the tanks you have. Go and take all the bullets out and use only rockets and see what you get. Literally, that's what it is. I knew that was going to be the case, but I was hoping that I had missed something, that I was wrong. Well, I wasn't. I'm going to do this better. So, in conclusion... I really don't like to, to tell people the bad news of, of negative results in an anal analysis of this tank, but I say best case scenario, this is a C caliber tank. And the problem is I have way better tanks than this that I paid nothing for, Thumper, right off the bat right off the bat way better so this is one of those things that i was hoping that i was wrong and that it was good and really good now some of you might say well maybe you're just not good with rockets okay i'm not good with rockets i'm way better with regular guns and if it ain't broke don't fix it this attempts to fix something that's not broken but that you really want to test this the best way to test this is to take a rocket tank that you have, empty the shells, and go with rockets only. Or play it regular, use rockets only until you run out of rockets, then use your bullets. That would probably be a better, less stressful test. Now you go with only rockets, you're in trouble. You'll find out that that speed that it has it's good. The mobility is very good. But it's not worth much. It's just literally not worth much. Because you can't hit targets on a run except like I showed you. And that was great, but I mean, and those tanks weren't even fully, they weren't even fully health. And I didn't get close to killing any of them. Any one of them. So, hey man. If you want to buy that tank, you think this tank is awesome and you want to buy it, I say more power to you. I have done my best to give you an honest and even keeled evaluation. I don't care for this tank in the context 
of being a match winning reliable tank it's a goof off novelty tank that's fine there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want I don't do that I like to get things that have a specific set of abilities and then use those abilities for the situation at hand I don't want to just go and roll dice. I could just play dice roll by myself and that's all good. So for the price that you have to pay, how much is this dude? 10,700. It's not a good deal. It really isn't. This, this tank is, is awesome. If you paid like five thousand, you pay ten thousand seven hundred. I'm gonna guarantee you, you're gonna be sad. Hey, that's just me. I did it because I do reviews, etc., for YouTube, and down the road, you know, this is potentially helpful to show people, you know, what I do. And to help prevent people from buying things that I think are not good. I mean, there's other things I tell you that don't buy. I'm not a shill for the company. I'm not here to tell you to buy their inferior stuff when they have it. I tell you what's good and useful with my experience. I could have told you that you could buy this you know that I could have not bought it and told you everything more or less what I've told you and I'd have been right but that would not be honest because I wouldn't know from a personal first-hand experience I don't recommend this to anyone if you use it and you like it I say congratulations you're awesome and you're better than me at this tank that doesn't bother me a bit but that person is few and far between. And when I say far between, I mean far between. Rare. You're playing this game. If you're watching these videos, keep doing what you're doing. Because it's way better than whatever you're going to get out of this guy. It's one of those things. Like I said, there's a lot better things you could get. Man, Brazilian Bulldog, that Panther, Fighting Girlfriend. All of those are better. I'm just throwing those out there because that's what's available today. And like I said, Thumper, way better. MBT-70, way better. Chieftain-120, way better. This is a really good tank. This tank cost almost as the same as the Weasel. The Weasel was, was not good. But as a, as a reviewer, I had to do it. And, you know... I'm going to go with my, my gut reactions next time. I had gut reaction to Chief 120. It was essentially what I expected it to be, and that was good. It's a really good tank. If you want to spend 10 grand, don't buy the Weasel, buy the Chief 120. That is a much better tank in every regard. Get the M60 AX when it's around if you don't have that. Like I said, any of the, the the Ever 3s that I showed you are way better. That's a gimmick. It's a novelty. And it's not reliable. You'll see it. Now, you'll see some great scores. And those guys are going to play great to get it. Hey, more power to you, brother. Not interested. You know, it's like a guy who can drink a lot of alcohol. And it doesn't destroy him. I don't drink alcohol. So, whatever floats your boat is fine. So, basically speaking, I don't recommend the, the weasel to anyone except a slim, slim, slim amount of people. If you're one of those guys, awesome. If you're not, save your money, buy something that's actually useful and will win more. So, that covers the weasel. I am not really going to spend any more time on this guy because, oh well, whatever. So... Thanks for watching the video. I hope I did you a favor by helping you avoid this tank if you were thinking about it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because that's what I do. I tell you honestly, 
yes, no, good, bad, whatever. Now, I haven't really made what you would call a negative review of a tank specifically, but this one, they forced it on me. So that's the way it is. I guess that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks again.